You're listening to Create Wealth Through Franchising, and I'm your host, Kim Daly. In my 20 years as a franchise consultant, I've helped hundreds of people achieve their dreams of building and scaling franchise businesses to create wealth. The interview you're about to hear can also be found on my YouTube channel, where I post new franchising content multiple times per week. Please take a moment to subscribe to the podcast and to my YouTube channel at kimdaily.tv. Now, enjoy the show. Welcome back to the Daily Coach YouTube channel. Today we have a really fun guest. You know, you guys love it when I bring franchisees who can share their story, their transition from corporate America, or in this case, we have a, fran- he was a franchisee of another brand. He was exiting and looking for his next play when he landed on the business that he's currently a part of. And he's about to tell us how he's ready to sign on the dotted line for three more additional territories. Welcome to Kim Daily TV, Mr. Scott Hedges from Detroit, Michigan. He is a franchisee of Ace Handyman. Scott, welcome to Kim Daily TV. Thank you, Kim. Glad to be here. I am so happy to have you here. Thanks for being my special guest today. So let's talk a little bit about the handyman business. Let's just dive right into the heart of the conversation. Like, what the heck happened to the handyman business in 2020 and coming into 2021? Well, um, obviously, we've spent more time at home now. Uh, so many people are working remotely. Uh, there has been quite an increase in the interest of the homeowner and even the small business owner to refresh, to fix, to increase the enjoyment factor of the space you spend so much time in. And that has really resonated well with uh, Ace Handyman because we fit that a unique niche where we're not going to come in and remodel your house or your kitchen or your bath, but we will take care of all those honeydew lists, all those small projects around the house that the larger contractor doesn't focus on and doesn't have the, the, the wherewithal in their operation to do those smaller jobs like we do. That's our niche. It's so necessary. Like I'm a single woman. I have a honeydew list that's like this. And I have no need to do it. <laughs> I certainly don't know how to do most of the stuff. So I totally get that niche. Okay, so Ace Handyman. Guys, what do you think of when you hear the word Ace? You think of Ace Hardware. So Scott, let's talk a little bit about what business were you exiting when you, and why did you select the handyman industry as your next venture? Yeah, so I was with another franchise brand called Goldfish Swim School, which was uh, established and uh, launched here in the Detroit area. Um, I sold my interest in uh, four of those locations to my business partners, and that was right before the uh, the pandemic hit. Kind of found myself in this new like, what do I do next phase? Uh, one of my good friends lost his job uh, during COVID, and we started doing some little side jobs for friends and family, and quickly realized there is such a demand. And if you call people back, you do what you say you're going to do for the price you say you're going to do it for, and you do it, you could do a good job and be better than the most. Um, if you do a really good job and a great job and you provide that uh, experience to the customer that's easy and uh, enjoyable, it's, uh, it's fishing in a barrel. So we... Uh, it's people, but it's in the trades, yeah. it is. <laughs> No offense to our kind trades people. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So uh, I started investigating what the other options were out there. I like the franchise model. Um, and luckily, I got uh, put in uh, touch with a really good uh, franchise coach. Um, I was really interested in another brand, quite honestly. And he said, you really need to take a step back and think about uh, this new one that's really coming on. You know, Ace Hardware acquired this small uh, franchise uh, called Handyman Matters out in Denver back in September 2019. And now with this brand recognition and this unbelievable track record of uh, customer experience in, in neighborhood, uh, the helpful place uh, behind this Handyman um, branch has just given it quite a, a boost in uh, reputation and opportunity. 
so amazing. It really is. As I was starting to say, when you think of the word Ace, what do you think of? You think of the local hardware store. And now they have local handyman who can, like, they can recommend, they can come, you know, send to your house to help you with those do-it-yourself projects so you don't have to do it yourself. That is why Ace Handyman is so on the move. It's, it, it is a very fast-growing franchi franchise. In fact, here at Franchise, Ace Handyman was one of the top franchises that the franchise consultants helped grow in the first half of 2021. So it's really yeah. fun to see. Being a consultant for 19 years, I don't know that I've ever seen another handyman business up there on the leaderboard. So what a great, great time to be in the handyman world for sure. Now, Scott, did you have prior like uh, carpentry or trade skill and and or is that necessary to be a successful multi-unit owner with Ace Handyman? I don't think it's necessary. No, I, I could probably say I'm a self-proclaimed handyman. That's my uh, I don't do yoga, but if I, right. my version of yoga <laughs> is home improvement projects. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. My, my, my wife and kids know if I have to have a project around the house to kind of keep me calm and keep me uh, feeling level. Um, so I, I've always been interested in that space. Um, so it was a good fit for me in that regard. But no, I don't think you have to have that experience because they were very upfront from the beginning, which I appreciated um, at our support center in Denver. They want you working on the business, not necessarily in the business. Not swinging the hammer, but how are you going to get the phone to ring? How are you going to build that team um, to service your customer base uh, the way the model's designed? Hey, Daily Coach fans, if this franchise sounds like a fit for you, I would love to be your Daily Coach. Email me right now for a totally free consultation at inquire at kimdaily.tv in so many franchises, listeners, right? You you don't need prior experience. If the franchisor says no prior experience is necessary, you don't need prior experience. They can get you up that learning curve. It's certainly fun if you have a passion or an interest in the widget, in the space, right? But it's not essential. What's essential is that you see value in the service that's being offered. And most importantly, that you find a leadership team that inspires you, a leadership team that you feel has the back end systems and tools that you'll be able to utilize to then go build that business, right, Scott? That's what's most Absolutely. important, right? Yes. And I think there was a great marriage between the existing franchise handyman matters and ace hardware uh, very similar cultures very like mindseted on uh how to de deliver a really unique and special experience to their customers so you go you tiptoe in with one territory was that like i want to see how it goes and then i'm going to scale up or was it always your intention to kind of come in and kind of own that greater detroit market yeah, for, for, for me, the, the beauty of a franchise model is it, it is so scalable. Once you get your core processes and kind of your operation in place, um, it's not double the work to double your territory. Um, so I, my wife and I, we always had that intent of growing. Uh, but as you said earlier, the, the brand is growing so fast. Um, we, had, we decided to accelerate our individual growth because we wanted certain markets before they were bought up by other franchisees. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's definitely, that definitely happens. <laughs> so good for you. So what are you most looking forward to? Like, do you have the plan with this brand to build and sell like you did with your first franchise? Or is this something more that you're hoping, you know, you have kind of a longer term vision with? Uh, I'd like to say a bit longer term vision. Um, but Opportunity just kind of happens at times, right? I, 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 have, I think if anything over this last year and a half we've learned is that I might have a plan and I'm on a path for that plan, but be ready for tomorrow because it could be totally different. Exactly. And I always tell my candidates, businesses are built to be sold. Look, if somebody comes around the corner and offers you a whole bunch of money, dangling money in front of you to go away, you'd be crazy not to at least consider it, right? That asset Absolutely. that you're building has value. And depending on mm -hmm. the brand, depending on the markets you own, depending on the economy, 
there's somebody, I guarantee it, who sees what you built as an asset that they might be willing to pay some multiple of. So good for you, Scott. I hope that yeah. I hope that, that would happen for you again. That would be awesome. Mm -hmm. But I mean, even if you're Thank staying you. in it, this is kind of that long term, could be that long term sustainable business, right? Because it's not mm -hmm. like it's ever going to become, you know, out of fashion to re be renovating or helping people yep. achieve their honey do list in their house. Yeah. Is there any advice? So you've been a part of two different franchise systems. Is there any advice that you would give to a listener about selecting the right franchisor and the brand that you want to be a part of? Yeah, I, I think what uh, coaches like you do, I mean, the, the, going through the process of really understanding your risk tolerance, um, your investment um, tolerance, as well as capabilities, um, Goldfish versus Ace Handyman, a, a very difference in uh, what you need to, 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 to get involved in, in each of those brands. Um, also, just the, I love the operations of, of a business, and some can be very complex, and some can be very uh, time-consuming to kind of really figure out uh, in, in your initial uh, launch. Um, so I think the operational and the operational support you get from the franchise office is really important. Um, both the brands I've been in now have been uh, more what I call emerging brands. They're, they're on the younger side, um, which I find so fascinating and fun because you're kind of growing and, and learning and um, evolving with them. For me, I, I was a competitive swimmer, so the, the swim school was just a natural fit for me. I was a swim coach at the high school level as well. Um, and like I said, I love doing my own handyman work and home improvement projects. So to me, the most important thing is, is to have a passion for, for what you're doing. Um, that makes me really excited every day to get up and face whatever challenge uh, comes my way. Hey, Daily Coach fans, if you're inspired by this conversation, I invite you to email me right now to explore this franchise opportunity. My email is inquire at kimdaily.tv. Are you finding it um, easy or challenging to find the right tradespeople to take on the projects? Yeah, that uh, I, I think if you looked at the entire brand, that's you know one of the biggest challenges that franchisees uh, encounter. Uh, very thankfully, we've been really fortunate with the team that we've assembled. Um, we've had some turnover, as most businesses uh, are going to go through, but we've worked really hard. I feel my two biggest jobs um, in working in the business is making the phone ring to bring in the business and bringing the right people on the team and put him in the right seats. Yeah, um, yeah, exactly. I gotta do it. I, I don't even think of it as a handyman business. I mean, my, my job is making the phone ring and making my staff successful. Yeah, that's so amazing. That's probably why it's not an issue for you. I 100% agree with that. There's so many people out there that, especially people who are considering a franchise that are gonna trip over right now, especially the moment we're in right now in 2021, the current labor market, can you find good employees? And I'm like, look, how about you take on the challenge of becoming the leader that can create an environment that makes a good employee, right? Like you can find somebody now, not maybe not if you're looking for an electrician or someone with a skill, but what I was going to say is that you can oftentimes hire somebody with the personality that's hungry to learn, that's coachable, and you can teach them to do the job, right? Now that may not entirely be true in the business you're particularly in, but there's a lot of franchise businesses where that philosophy philosophy would work very, very well if the owner would take it upon themselves to get up the learning curve of how to be an inspiring leader, how to, how to not, not instead of finding the right employees, creating the yes. right employees through an opportunity, through a job and through a culture that makes yep. people want to show up and do a good job. Yeah. Awesome. I love it, Scott. Well, I really appreciate you being a guest today on Kim Daily TV. I know that your story is going to inspire other people because people love hearing it from you. Kim Daly sits in front of this camera and talks, 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 and shares. But when you come on, your voice weighs a hundred times more than mine. So I love that you are willing to come on and share your story. We wish you all the best as you get ready to scale up your business. And congratulations to my friend, Alex Roberts. A little shout out to Alex Roberts, uh, who was the friend Choice consultant who helped Scott find the Ace Handyman opportunity. And uh, we wish you all the best. And again, we thank you so much thank for being you. our special guest today.
My pleasure. Thank you, Kim. You are welcome. Anybody out there interested in the ACE or any other franchise opportunity, you know that I want to be your daily coach. Please leave a comment below or you can email Kim at thedailycoach.com and I'll get in contact with you so that you can begin your own franchise investigation journey. Until next time, I am Kim Daly and I want to be your daily coach. If you found this inspiring, please contact me at inquire at kimdaily.tv. My consulting services are totally free to you. Again, that email is inquire at kimdaily.tv. I can't wait to hear from you.